Hi, so today I'm going to be explaining the respiratory system of mollusks. To the group of mollusks belong snails, sea slugs, squid, octopus, cuttlefish, clams, and around another 50,000 species. There are seven classes of mollusks, six of them which are very alike, and one is very different. Organs needed for respiration are located in the vesicular mass. The vesicular mass contains all soft organs in an animal. In mollusks, the vesicular mass contains of the digestive, circulatory, excretory, and reproductive organs. Gills assist the aquatic mollusks. These typically breathe using gills located in their mantle cavity. The mantle cavity is divided so water enters from the bottom and exits near the top. Cilia, called siphons, bring the water in and out of the body. There are three kinds of cilia. One drives the water current through the mantle cavity and the others help clean the gills. Land snails and slugs have a permeable skin, making water able to enter. This means they can breathe through their skin. They respire by using their mantle cavity, which is a large surface area. This is lined by blood vessels. Diffusion happens through the moist skin. This is why they prefer to live in moist conditions. Cephalopods exchange gases with seawater by forcing it through their gills. Water enters the mantle cavity, and then the mantle cavity closes. As the mantle cavity contracts, the water is forced through the gills. The expulsion of the water can be used for rapid movement. The gills of cephalopods are much more efficient than the gills of other mollusks. Most clams and oysters remain close to the surface, so their siphons are exposed. One siphon brings in the water, which carries oxygen for respiration. Then the water is filtered and expelled by another siphon. The respiratory system of periphera is much more simple. It absorbs oxygen solely by diffusion. Also, the respiratory system of nadarians are much more simple. It breathes through the gas exchange over their surface area. This is called diffusion. The respiratory system of jellyfish is somewhat similar to the respiratory system of cephalopods. Annelids also only respire through diffusion, so it's also a lot more simple. Plathihelminthus also only respire through diffusion. That's it! Thanks for watching!